If there's one thing corporate people are known to be, it's eccentric. So when someone publicly humiliates them, they will bite back. But where all of us might humiliate them back and call it a day, Jeff Bezos decided that he would bite back at Elon Musk by ending the dominance of Elon's biggest achievement, Tesla. And the way he is planning to do it, we think he might just succeed. So strap in, because today we're covering the start of what might be the biggest automotive feud in history, Elon's Tesla versus Bezos' trusted partner partner, Rivian. Now, their feud goes back years, centered on their competing space travel ambitions. Bezos' Blue Origin has been fighting NASA over the agency's decision to contract with Musk's SpaceX to build a lunar lander intended to take humans back to the moon. Now they'll be competing in the electric vehicle space too, as Bezos throws his weight behind Rivian, the hand-picked contender he believes can take on Tesla. The company has already surpassed Volkswagen's market capitalization to become the world's third largest car company. All without selling a single vehicle. This company, the shockingly young startup called Rivian, has an interesting history, and more importantly, is not trying to be another Tesla, but has its own strengths that Tesla simply can't compete with. So let's dive into what each company has to offer, what that means, and where it will take the EV industry as a whole. To start with, let's look at some history. Background. Rivian is the brainchild of MIT PhD holder Robert Scarringe, who founded the company immediately after completing college back in 2009 when he was only 27 years old. And while back then his idea was to make a sports car competing with Tesla's original Roadster, eventually he decided that he wasn't going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tesla and instead create his own brand. And that little decision right there is going to matter a lot in the future. The company, then called Mainstream Motors, went through a few versions, including one called Avera Automotive, until until finally settling on Rivian Automotive. And with that, the company set its sights on the autonomous electric vehicle market. Two years later, the company was immersed in both electric vehicle technologies and autonomous driving capabilities. From day one, the automaker set out to create luxurious and battery-powered vehicles. In 2011, Rivian unveiled a sporty coupe prototype. However, as we just mentioned, Robert decided to scrap that idea before the entire project was scrapped. Now, while he didn't want to be another Tesla, he had to make sure that his company would persist and as a result, realizing Tesla wasn't really focusing on SUVs and more rugged cars, he began to work on that front. And so the automaker made a shift, focusing its manufacturing on holistic ecosystems of electric vehicles built for the outdoors. The rugged outdoorsy SUVs have remained the company's focus to this day. By the end of 2017, Rivian finally had some products to show, revealing two Alpha prototypes. Less than a year later, those two prototypes became the R1T pickup and R1S SUV, which debuted debuted at the LA Auto Show with production scheduled to begin in 2020. Both vehicles were described as ready for rough terrain and semi-autonomous, and the company outlined a plan for its next generation of models to be fully autonomous, a space Tesla has been trying to compete in for years. The two vehicles were impressive. In fact, they even got the attention of Ford, which invested $500 million. Although they would go on to terminate the contract during the COVID-19 pandemic, the relationship between the automakers has reportedly remained strong, and they might collaborate again in the future. Around this time, the prototypes also got the attention of Jeff Bezos. While he was CEO, Amazon bet big on the company. In 2019, they took a 20% stake in the company and ordered 100,000 delivery van vehicles in 2019. Jeff Bezos had a big plan in mind. He would bring his two pet projects, Blue Origin and Rivian, onto the global stage at the same time. And that's what happened when the billionaire hurled himself into space last summer in his Blue Origin rocket, arriving at the launch pad in a Rivian truck and blasting off in his Blue Origin rocket. This move was a well-calculated and strategic product placement by Bezos, and a way for him to announce to the world what he would be doing after stepping down as Amazon's CEO. The billionaire was finally ready to compete with Elon Musk now that he too had an aerospace and electric vehicle company. And while Tesla's explosive stock growth skyrocketed Elon Musk to surpass Jeff Bezos and be the richest man in the world, Rivian might not be far behind. As of right now, the company has slowly started to roll its products off the production line. And well, from what we're seeing, they're not only a serious competitor to Tesla's dominance, but might just defeat them entirely. Because now, we're going to be telling you about the most shocking part of it all, the market response. 
Now, we know that Rivian has caught the eye of big investors like Bezos and Ford, but the actual scope of just how popular this company has gotten is mind-blowing. Because, well, if you take a look at the valuation of Tesla when it was at the stage Rivian is at right now, they got a very respectable $2 billion. However, when Rivian is seen at the same stage, which is today, they seem to be getting a 25 times larger valuation at around $55 billion. Stock is no different. After gaining 29% on their first day of trading, the shares have continued to rise as much as 24% later. As a result, just two days after its initial public offering, Rivian Automotive Inc. reached a market value of over $100 billion. And while their losses are disproportionately larger than early Teslas, the fact that the company is as of today the world's fifth largest automaker by market cap, having delivered only a few electric vehicles to customers, is really saying something. Nicholas Colas, co-founder of Datatrek Research, a master of analyzing market trends himself, wrote that Rivian's valuation makes it a legitimate option for institutional investors who have previously only had Tesla to play the electric vehicle space. And if an 11-year-old company company with practically no cars on the road can suddenly become more valuable than GM and Ford, you know that they mean business. That being said, as much as stocks are a good way to judge a company, it's the product, not the market share, that actual customers will be buying. So let's now shift our focus to the cars. Tesla, as we all know, likes to make futuristic and borderline weird cars for everyday use. From the Model 3 sedan, which is the best-selling electric car in the world, to the larger Model S sedan, Model X SUV, and Model Y crossovers, the company has a solid foothold in the urban car market. And while stuff like their Cybertruck and Semi may come eventually, as of right now, they can't claim any share in the big and more utilitarian vehicles. And that's where Rivian comes in. Using their ingenious R1 platform, they've come up with exactly what Tesla is missing in the form of a truck called the R1T and the later arriving R1S, an SUV meant to be a replacement to stuff like Range Rovers. And that's where we start seeing the different approaches. One of the things that define Tesla is its novelty. I mean, who doesn't like a car with a glass roof, a screen the size of a tablet, and no speedometer? Right? Well, not really. You see, while that stuff may fly with younger enthusiasts, to most common folk, that is a little too jarring. Compare that to Rivian, whose trucks are futuristic and beautiful without a doubt, but somehow seem more familiar and can easily fit into your everyday cars. And that, combined with their more utilitarian approach, makes the company extremely desirable to everyone. And that's the gist of it. The technical aspects, the production, marketing, and the actual management all seem to be solid, as experts all around have said themselves. David Kirsch, a professor at the University of Maryland's Business School, claimed that Rivian's team, product, and investors all look promising. And and that, coupled with the fact that they've managed to gather the spotlight from Tesla even for a bit, seems to show that this little company might turn out to be Tesla's worst nightmare, as well as the American purchaser's dream. With Tesla pushing its Cybertruck back to 2022, it looks like Rivian is going to beat them to market with their R1T. Whether Rivian's electric truck can live up to the hype is anyone's guess. And well, on that note, we must end today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. With that, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.